what I meant by that is that we honestly, like, we learn now how big we are. So, like, for example, Tyler Oakley is calling for us to be deplatformed. What I meant by the strong fan base is, Tyler Oakley, why don't you go in front of the Jersey Shore house right now and post a story, and let's see how many people show up. And I'm not trying to be, like, a dick. It's just, like, it's facts. Like, go to the, go to the Jersey Shore house, post a story. You are trying to be a dick, but go on. Story, and let's see what happens. That's what I meant by having, like, a strong fan base. Like, our fans will show up wherever we're posting, and now we've really, really fucking learned that, and it's a big responsibility, um, and it's just something we're going to have to accept. We've been posting stories for the last six years of where we're at. It's always been a part of our brand to, like, interact with fans and shit, so that's just something that, yeah, we were wrong, and we're going to have to fucking learn from now. Can't post stories of anywhere where we're at, because we're going to get in shit. Um, but yeah, the headline that says that the police showed up is totally inaccurate. We paid for the police. We were getting escorted around the city by the police the whole time. They were fucking blocking off bridges for us, escorting us to our hotel and shit. The police were on our side. They said we did nothing wrong. So not once did we ever organize or, or try to host a party. Philip DeFranco said too, and I'm not hating on him. The video was, it was fine, but... Uh, when we said 8.30, like, we posted our video and said 8.30 p.m. Eastern. That wasn't a call to action for people to show up at 8.30. That's the time of our merch drop. So, um, that's pretty much it. I don't know what else to say. It's a bit of a shitstorm. And, yeah, one one final thing I'll say is, yeah, you guys might not believe when we say we don't know how big we are. But it honestly is a learning experience. This is still, like, it's all new to us still. Like, we're not used to it. And I guess we're learning the hard way. And it sucks. It sucks that we have to change our, our style and the way we're doing things because of how big we are. But I guess it happens to everybody at some point. And, yeah, love all the fans that are rocking with us. All we try to do is make funny videos, guys. That's all we're trying to do out here. We're not trying to fucking hurt people or be malicious to people. And, yeah. Okay, but still wrong for you to post like stories of you having a party, which you obviously did. I mean, don't actually dare people to actually take a chance to get the coronavirus and party. I mean, if you want the news media to report good stories about about what the milk milk boys has done. If you're a fan of the milk, at least don't let them post idiotic shit like themselves hosting a party or someone else hosting a party for the milk. Whoever po hosted a party, I don't care. Just don't let them host a party during this pandemic for a reason. This is why the numbers of the coronavirus keep continuing to go up because people who are very careless continue to post these parties and continue to go to these parties too. If you just keep staying at home like everyone else, we can all be fair about it. Stay home, stay safe, that's it. No parties. If you, if you go to a party, you're making it unfair for everyone else. Because everyone else does not want to get coronavirus. Bottom line, you guys do need to be very careful now. You do. Okay? I really like you guys, but the fact that you're not verified says it all about your way of doing things right now. And if you want to be verified one day, you've got to do something that is not a risk of taking the coronavirus. That's all I am saying here. Just don't post these stupid parties on your Instagram or don't go to a party at all or host them at all. It's common sense. Just stay the fuck home and be safe. It's more important than some stupid party. Jesus Christ, parties can wait. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.